Hello everyone and welcome back to Project Ford UK. It's been over a year since I've posted. I'm in the Evo today. I'm going to be cleaning her up and I'm going to be giving you an update on what I've been up to and what I've got planned for the car. I'll pull over in a minute and I'll go through all the bits that I've got for it and we'll go from there. The car's booked in on Tuesday to have the air conditioning compressor replaced. The old one's knackered. I've managed to get hold of a, a used one. Hopefully it works and I can get my aircon working again. When it was booked in last time, the tension has seized. Apparently it's a bit of a common fault. But these things ain't cheap. I think it was about 250 pounds. So what they've done is when they've tried doing the aircon compressor, they've gone to take the drive belt off. That seized, so they've cracked it off a little bit and they said it's just gonna snap. So I've had to drive around for a bit with a squealy fan belt because the tension has not gone back to we're applying the right tension to the belt but it doesn't matter i've got a new belt as well so hopefully that'll solve a few issues the car is running pretty rough at the moment with the lack of use it won't idle when it's cold as soon as it warms up it's fine uh, the hydraulic lifters are quite noisy as well i think i'm gonna have to end up getting them replaced so today was just a quick update on that and i'm going to be clay barring uh, clay mitting the, the car as well with one of these see how it comes up because it's just been sat there gathering dust so I can get it looking nice again on the drive. I'm going to have a walk around if I can in a minute and take you around the car, show you what it looks like now. Um, it does need to go to the body shop. Unfortunately, this time last year, a taxi driver decided to scrape the front bumper. It was a nightmare sorting that out with the insurance because bits are so expensive. I've not had the work done yet. I'm waiting for the body shop. I want to, to do the work to give me the nod when I can bring the car in. I've not been too fussed. I wanted the car doing for summer anyway this summer i want it all minting up uh, just the bits on the door but like i said i'll take you through all that when i get to it in a bit but first jobs get it cleaned then i'll do a walk round. right there's a break in the weather i've just clear barred the car and it's come up absolutely lovely it was really easy to do as well it were a clear mitt sorry not a clear bar but i need to have a proper go over it and get these rusty bolts done and get it tidied up a little bit but like i say the car's the car's still in really good condition for its age. It's at about 66,000 mile now. But I'll just give you a walk round and show you what needs doing on it. I've still got new wheels to put on it. These have all been, these have all got corroded. Taking it to car wash has done help with the chemicals they put on. The brakes, when they got reconditioned, they're still looking good as well. The door has started to bubble a little bit there. So that needs to go into the body shop and get sorted. Again, back wheel's not in good shape either. I can't wait to put the new wheels on if I'm being honest. Round to the back of the car. I forgot putting reg plate back on. I've got a new one of them to put on. I've got the Lancer badge which is missing and I've got a brand new middle Mitsubishi diamond badge as well to go on. Standard exhaust still looks lovely. Round to the other side. Probably the cleanest side this one. I'm thinking of taking the tints off the car as well down to the front now this is where mr taxi man scuffed the car not ideal but it can be fixed this has started to chip away as well but once it goes into the body shop it'll all get sorted windscreen wipers need i need new ones of them as well top of the doors they're going to get sorted when it goes into the body shop sunroof love this car I'll just give it a full 360 for you so you can still see how it sits and how it looks after two years in the country sorry for not uploading more regular but I've had a lot going on still building that stupid house but I've still got love for the Evo I'm going to start posting a lot more like I say on Tuesday the car's going in to have the compressor done fan belt tensioner so it'll stop it from squealing when I start it up and I can get the climate control working again I have bought another car as well, but I've not had a chance to do a video on it because it keeps raining. But as soon as I get a good day and another weekend, I'll get that uploaded. It's a funny car. Don't build your hopes up, it's nothing special. You'll all probably think it's rubbish, but it'll be a good little project to crack on with because parts are really cheap for it. So I'm going to sign out. Apologies again for not uploading for over a year. Apologies as well if this video is a bit ropey as I get back into the swing of things. 
but I'll keep you updated on the Evo and how I get on with it. Get these bits done. It needs a service, AYC pump, get it into the body shop, get all the new badges on it, get the wheels on it. It's still absolutely beautiful underneath from where I had it all sprayed as well. So I'm going to sign out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave your comments down below. But nice to hear from you all again. And I'll see you soon.